Hey, it's Daniel P. Robertson here. On this video, I'm going to talk about 15 work from home jobs so you can make money from home to maybe give you more freedom, more flexibility in your schedule, maybe not spend so much money on a commute or as a side job to make some extra money to supplement your regular income. And on this channel, we talk about different ways to make money online or make money from home. Normally, we talk about how to grow your audience, increase your influence, and get life-changing results with affiliate marketing. Now, in this video, I wanted to take a little bit of a different track and talk about these different uh, work-from-home job opportunities. Now, some of these are going to be actual jobs where you're hired by a company to work for them and do a job for them. And some of these are going to be more like um, business opportunities or also uh, like freelancer, like solopreneur opportunities. So the first one is that you can be a customer service representative and this can be on phone or chat. Uh, so how this would work is you can take either inbound calls or place outbound calls or chats for people who are looking for customer service for a company. Usually this is things like paying their bill, getting help with their account, understanding the benefits of the product or the service, something like that. So you can go online right now to different job sites and search for, you know, work at home customer service jobs to find companies that will hire you. And usually all you need for this, you of course need a computer, a phone or a, a headset to connect to your computer, a stable internet connection. And if you're going to do on the phone, you definitely want a distraction free uh, quiet environment in your home. So if you, have, if you have little kids running around, this might not be the best option for you unless you have a place that's dedicated to being able to take calls where the kids won't bug you. Okay, now the next job is a sales representative. And this pretty much works the same way as a customer service representative, except for in this case, you're actually doing sales. And again, this can be phone or chat, and it can be inbound or outbound. Now, I'm speaking from experience here and telling you that inbound sales is much easier than outbound sales. When you're calling outbound and you're just making these, these cold calls to different people or businesses trying to sell your product and service on an outbound basis, and they're not even aware of you, they're not expecting you, they don't know who you are, they might be not don't know the company, they, they might not be familiar with the company that you're representing. Uh, so when you do that, outbound, it can be very difficult to get in touch with somebody who can make the decision, much less to actually sell them on the product or a service. Inbound though, inbound is when people are calling you, they're looking for more information, they're kind of pre-framed and they saw an ad, they, they're familiar with the company already, they're already a customer of your company and they're looking to additional products or services. So these are people who are calling you who are already familiar with what you have. In some cases, in some cases, depending on the company, they might just be looking for customer service and they got the sales department instead. Now, depending on the company you're working for, there's going to be either a soft approach to this or a hard approach to this. So a hard approach might be that they still expect you to sell to somebody who's calling looking for customer service. So you gotta try to get a sale before you get them over to customer service. A company that has a softer approach they might not really care if you sell to people who are looking for customer service. Maybe they're just trying to pay their bill, but they got the sales department. That some companies have a soft approach where they're not going to really expect you to try too hard to get a sale on this type of call. All right, third on my list here is medical billing or medical transcription. So the idea is there is you're taking doctor's notes or doctor's uh, typed up notes or their, their recorded notes, their voice notes, and you're, just, you're either transcribing them or you're translating them into, mil, into insurance claims to send to the insurance company and putting the right codes on there and things like that. Definitely for this, you need training, you need experience, and you generally, I believe that it needs to be a certification that happens in order for you to be qualified to do this. So, but if you have experience with medical billing or a transcription, definitely a good uh, option for you. All right, number four, you can be a freelance writer. A freelance writer uh, is just somebody who, you know, prepares written content for different companies. 
So this could be their websites, it could be brochures, it could be sales material, it could be on a blog uh, that they maintain for their company, it could be uh, technical manuals, it could be all kinds of different things that you can write for a company as a freelance writer where you can get hired to do that, that work. The next one's kind of similar, sales copywriter. Instead of just focusing on general copy or general writing, you're, you're, you are writing direct response sales letters and video sales letter scripts and email marketing campaigns and different things like that, social media campaigns, right? So you're actually writing sales copy that's designed to get somebody to take action. And that's in a lot of ways a completely different skill set from just general writing. All right, next up is virtual assistant number six. And so a virtual assistant is somebody who will work for an entrepreneur or maybe a company or a business owner and do just random different tasks online. This can be like uploading videos to YouTube. It could be hiring uh, graphic de designers for a project. It could be managing um, kind of just different workflow processes, managing, managing social media accounts. It could be checking the comments on a blog and responding to those comments. It could be all kinds of different things that a virtual assistant would do. Just, just different random tasks that you can do for, for an entrepreneur or somebody who's busy and they need some help. Number seven is a blogger and you can do this your own blog. You can create your own blog and generate income from your own blog or you can do it for hire where, where a blog will hire you to write for them. So definitely if you're, you're a writer, this is another way to go. Uh, with that. Number eight is brand sponsor or ambassador. So this one is for more for social media influencers. You have a large Instagram account, a large YouTube account, large Facebook following, something like that. You have a lot of people who follow you. Different, you can get, then you can get different companies to sponsor you so you can create brand awareness or product endorsements for that company and the company will pay you for, for that sponsorship. Okay, number nine, social media manager. And this can be go as far as actually creating the social media content, or it can be just as simple as responding to comments on social media and a whole bunch of different kind of levels and tasks in between those two. So show, social media manager, that's another good way to, to build a business online, just running social media for different companies. Okay, number 10, that's an appointment setter. Now this is similar to sales except for as an appointment setter, you're not actually expected to close the deal. You're just trying to get somebody to make an appointment with the salesperson who's going to be closing the deal. That could be either a phone appointment or an in-person appointment. So you're just trying to get, get the person to make that appointment. Number 11, tutor or teacher. Uh, so you can tutor live. That could be like Skype or, or something like that or over the phone or even in person, bring somebody to your home and actually take somebody who's local to you and tutor them in your home. That's another option there as well. And this can also be, you can teach in a sort of uh, a group setting. So you might have a, a group of people who come on to your, maybe you have like live webinars that you hold and you do a live group like teaching and coaching session. It can also be where you create pre-recorded courses so you can use a site like Udemy or one of those types of sites to upload a course to the site and sell, sell the course on the site. And it's all pre-recorded, so you're not actually teaching people live, you're, you're recording it, and then people are buying the course and you're getting paid every time somebody buys the course. All right, next we have English teacher. And a lot of times you're not even the teacher, you're not teaching English. A lot of times this can be as simple as a, uh, somebody to practice English as a second language with. So maybe somebody who doesn't speak English natively, maybe they're, they're like in a business that deals with a lot of English speakers, and so they're trying to learn more conversational English. And so they just need somebody to practice with, and you can be that practice buddy uh, for those people who are, who are trying to improve their English uh, skills. All right, now number 13 is network marketer, and sometimes this does get a bad rap but it is a big industry and there is a lot of potential to make money as a network marketer. So as a network marketer, your job is twofold. It's to recruit more people into the business opportunity and it's also to sell the product that the company creates. 
And so it's kind of a combination of sales and recruitment. And, and there's usually uh, these days, now in the old days, it used to be a lot of like in-person networking. So, and you'd go around like talking to anybody who's three feet away from you. That's kind of one of the, the, the rules or one of the, the things that people like to uh, rag on on the network marketing industry is the three foot rule. Just go and talk to anybody who comes within three feet of you. And that's still being taught today and still being done. And some people are successful at it and some people aren't. But there's also now it's evolved to where network marketing is a lot of times moving more online and using online marketing and social media marketing to build those businesses as well. So if that's something you're good with, either in-person networking or online networking and sales, then definitely network marketing could be a good option for you. All right, number 14 here, we have digital marketing and also website building. So this can go from running ads on Facebook or running ads on YouTube. It could be to building websites, building sales pages, building landing pages, uh, a whole kind of range of digital marketing activities. And you can be this as a service provider where you're actually doing the marketing for the company. It can also be as a consultant where you're taking a look at what they're doing and you're teaching them how to improve what they're doing and get better results. And number 15, my favorite, is affiliate marketer. So you can go and you can promote other products that already exist as an affiliate and earn a commission on the sales of those products that you promote. And this generally entails building an audience, learning how to get that audience to trust you and trust your recommendations, and then making those recommendations of products that will help the audience. And so generally you pick a niche to become an expert in, you start sharing content around that niche or running ads to the people who are interested in learning that. And then from there, you're making your affiliate recommendations uh, once, once they get signed up to your email list. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've gotten some value out of it, some ideas of what you can do to work from home, either as a job or as a business opportunity. Uh, now, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and also click the link in the description for my number one recommendation to create passive income online. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next video.